Hello again, this is Razor Flame Cone, and this is the second part, or the sec yeah, the second part of the cave expert ex of trying to find the grab the uh, <sighs> having trouble talking today of the the hook, and we have to go down pretty far in order to get it. So, and we're gonna be fighting zombies and different colored slimes and skeletons once we get down there and then the big one the mother slimes once we get down pretty decently far shoot an arrow as you can see arrows take out all the vines place the torch down there and pretty much this gets pretty monotonous pretty quickly so i'm going to go down as far as i can in this cave which we did in the last some time ago so until then i'm going to cut it and then be right back all right, I'm back, and this is where we left off the last time. There's some water over there, which I'm not going to do anything about, but I think I see some iron there, so I'm going to go over and get that. By mining straight down, one, 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 one more block, and then we're going to go straight this way. And that is not iron. Okay. Dang it. Okay, now... Now we're starting to get into an unexplored part of the cave, and it looks like they're starting to be starting to get a bunch of different ores. There's some copper buried there, and there's some copper way on the surface here. So we're going to mine this copper. There we go. Then we're going to mine straight down here. And ooh, there's a bunch of copper down here. I'm going to place a torch right here. And yeah, I know some of you might. <clears throat> might be saying that I'm overusing torches, but you, in my opinion, you, you can never have too much light. Because light is what makes you be able to see all, all of the distinct differences between all of the different ores in the game, which is really nice. Gonna heal up, eat a mushroom, heal up a bit. Place another torch down here. Didn't illuminate anything new, so we're gonna go this way. And yay, we're starting to find some more pots. And you, as you can hear, monsters are splashing down. So that pot had some money in it. And now we're going to, since the it's gravel here, there's like rocks in the in the bedrock. We cannot, we can no longer. Oh, there's a crystal heart up there. We can no longer. Oh my God. Okay. Let me finish my thought. We can no longer build. See, you can't. You can't use this to just build, build on here anymore because the is the rocks in it is preventing you from being able to do that. Now, this is what I got really excited about. This, they are very rare to find in normal caverns. Very rare. They are called demon altars, and when you get near them, you can craft special items. This is the main way you craft the item the summoning items needed in order to, in order to summon bosses the eye of cthulhu eater of worlds and those ones anyways and this as i explained in a previous episode is a crystal heart or yeah uh crystal heart what you want to do is you want to pull out your hammer and then hammer it and then move the life crystal into your inventory your hotbar, and then left click on it, and you gain an, an additional permanent 20 health to your health bar, which is really nice. Now I'm up to 7 hearts, which means I have 120 health. The most health you can have in the game is 400. Anyways, I'm going to jump up there and place a torch there. Then I'm going to, ow, start shooting, ow and hopefully not make me fall too far like that one just did ugh anyways place a torch down there go run down here place another torch here ah the music changed which means we're getting pr pretty deep into the underground now we place one there and now, yay, some bombs! That'll help immensely when we need to um, start making that mushroom farm, when we actually go down deep enough to find some glowing mushrooms, which I will point out when we find. 
and there's some iron here too, which is really nice. There's a torch there, and then there's a pretty big vein of it too. Even though we don't really need iron anymore, the only thing we need iron for is to make three chains which take, I think, three bars of iron in, in order to make. Ow, and now we're starting to find these enemies. They are giant worms. As you can see, they burrow through the ground. They're not that strong, so you, can, you should be able to easily defeat them pretty quickly. Now here's some water. Here's a little here's a little trick that I use. You can cover the water with dirt or any other block like this, and then when you mine it, the water's no longer there. It's useful for draining small lakes like that because there's nothing it's just really easy and you can save a whole bunch of time. These are called cobwebs. What you want to do is you want to just swing any weapon at it and you will start collecting the cobwebs. You need to collect a hundred cobwebs in order to be able to make a really nifty suit of armor later on in the game, much later on in the game when you get into dungeons which is not for quite a while. So as you can see we're going deeper and we're oh my gosh getting I'm getting really really lucky with these crystal hearts that's the second one I found in this video alone and I found one in a, in a previous video, video as well so we're gonna destroy that pot here we're gonna place the torch up here uh, torch place there we go and then we're going to get this iron there we go then we're going to drop down here pull out our bow and it only takes two hits from the bow to do that pull out our hammer after I illuminate the place a little bit there's some more iron over there which I'm going to get after I mine the get that crystal heart pull out your hammer excuse me, move the mouse over it, left click on it to get another life crystal, which we're going to use right away. So now we have 160 health. Pretty awesome. That's one of the other things you want to look out for when you go down into caves like this. You can find the, the crystal hearts which will give you the life crystals. When you, when you get it, when you get a life crystal use it immediately to get uh, an additional 20 health and this is one of the ways that you can combat some of the stronger monsters in the game that take more health when you get more health yourself anyways to get back up here we're gonna build that out there ow stupid stupid blue slimes there we go jump up here and boom 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 Boom. Then jump up here, jump up here, jump up here, and this is where I'm going to end this part of the episode. In the next part, we are going to continue our quest for the hook. Until next time, this has been Razor Flame Coon, and may all of your days shine brightly.